Now, I love track stacks. And as you see in my mixer here, if I open this disclosure triangle, I can see these vocals that are packed in this track stack. I can also go up here to glass bowls and I can see the glass bowls and things like that and the delays that are related to it that are in this track stack, right? So that's a pretty cool way to work with stuff. And that's what I used to use in lieu of VCA faders. So what are VCA faders? Well, basically what they're going to be is a fader that you can assign any instrument to. And that fader will control their volume, mutes, and solos. So I've got these djembes over here, let's say. And I'm going to click right here, and I'll say create a new VCA for selected channel strips. So here's VCA1. It pops open on the far right side of my mixer, which is really cool. Double click on it and say perk for percussion. So anything I assign to that fader from this area here, like here I've got a couple other djembes that are in a different part of the mixer, but I'm like, okay, well, you're going to belong to the perk group. And if I want to, I can automate this perk fader and take things in groups and very easily attenuate or boost my entire mix. Like I can do it by groups instead of having to go through and hunt and peck through all the different faders to find the ones that I need to turn up and down. So VCA fader is very simple, but it's very, very cool. And if I click on that fader and I can add it to the uh, main window here, or if I just turn on its automation mode, then we'll automatically get it. It pops into the uh, main window automatically because it's saying, oh, I'm going to be doing some uh, automation to the entire percussion section. Now let's talk a little bit about fades because if I come up here to these files and zoom in on them, I have a lot of edits there and I want to create fades. Now before what would happen when we were working in this area is we would create the fades maybe while it's playing and then we'd have to stop and wait for it to update the fades and then hit play again. Well, it does fades in real time now. I'm going to go ahead and create a fade here and here and here and here just using control and shift to make myself some fades. Now normally what would happen is if I hit play, it would create the fades. It would take, you know, a couple seconds and create fades. But now I just hit play. I could go through and I could mess with the fades. I could move them around and the fades will be intact. You know, I won't have to wait for it to re-render or anything like that. Another thing that's really cool is that we can apply fades to Apple Loops and flex timed audio and things like that. So good stuff. All right, let's move on. I want to talk about compressors.